today, of course, is Halloween, which means tricks and treats and a lot of thrills. We're going to be talking about the thrill part more that can give you a pretty good scare. Eloise Asylum. That's what we're talking about this morning. Here to tell us all about its immersive horror experience and their spooktacular plans is Eloise Manager of Operations, Jim Werner. Jim, you are up early with us this morning. Thanks for being here. Thank you guys so much for having us out. So I see that you have two levels of terror. Are, are each different level of the Eloise Asylum going to be a different experience? Uh, vastly different. Um, we have two very specific attractions. Our first attraction is modeled after a hospital. Um, it's uh, everything that can go wrong has gone wrong type of situation. Uh, very immersive, uh, very theatrical, uh, actor driven. Um, our second attraction is uh, a departure into more of a sci-fi scientific experiment, uh, which is really the crown jewel of, of what we've done here on the site. And you call this the future, high tech terror. What makes Eloise Asylum such a futuristic uh, type of haunted house, haunted asylum experience? Well, one of the most uh, specific things that changes Eloise from your typical haunted house is how it was produced. Um, industry experts with light, sound, production, um, set design were all brought together to create what we've put together. Um, and we are using things that have never been used in a haunted house before, 3D mapping technology, cold spark technology, um, things that you won't see outside of the most highest productions in Hollywood now reside in, in Westland. Now you've been open since the beginning of October. How has turnout been so far? This is your first year. Well, this is our first year and it has been a fantastic year so far. Um, we've had a great turnout from the community. Um, we love the fact that so many guests have experienced uh, what we've put together for them. Uh, they've enjoyed it immensely. We've enjoyed uh, showing it to everyone. We're going to have our Faraz Javed there live uh, later coming up at 8 o'clock to give us an even closer preview of what happens inside the asylum. But for people who have not checked it out yet, Jim, what's the goal of the experience? What do you want people to see, hear, and feel as they walk through that place? Well, I mean, it is it is Halloween driven. So we're all looking for that scare. We're looking for that fright. Um, as our guests arrive, they're uh, met with the monolith that is the K Beard building. It is a massive five story structure towering above you. Um, as you proceed through our queue lines, um, you know, we have some entertainment and uh, different features. But once you get to those front doors, um, it really is being transformed and transitioned into an entirely different world. Um, it's quite literally like walking through a horror movie. And because this is so scary, we saw the video there. You describe it as like walking through a horror movie. Talk to us about the age levels um, for people who should be able to check this out. Do you have an age requirement? So um, we don't have a specific age requirement, but it is absolutely recommended for over 13. Um, it is, you know, it's dealing with, uh, you know, simulated violence, simulated horror situations. So we don't want to expose children to that, of course. But um, there's some kids out there that really enjoy it. And, it's really the parents call from a production standpoint. What makes a successful terrorizing experience? Is it the light? Is it the actors? Is it the makeup? Is it a combination of all of those? It is absolutely a combination of all of that. Um, this level of production uh, takes something like a large scale amusement ride you'd see at Universal and combines it with a stage show for all intents and purposes. We have actors that are interacting with uh, push button technologies that they need to work seamlessly together to get the full effect. And it's teamwork that drives everything that we do. And Jim, really quick before we let you go, where can people go for more information? And do you still have tickets available for tonight? We absolutely do. And we're really excited to see everyone tonight. Um, they can find tickets at EloiseAsylum.com. Jim Werner with Eloise Asylum. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me.